Martin Ketchum Knoyer, and I'm going to tell you a story about my road to city council. Uh, we moved to Modesto in 1940. Um, I attended Modesto High School. Uh, I've always been up for a challenge, and when I was in junior high, I was a yell leader. But when I went to high school, there were no girl yell leaders. So it took me uh, two years of campaigning, and I finally became a yell leader during the basketball season. This made that have the first girl yell leader at Modesto High or in our conference. Uh, I went on to uh, San Jose State and uh, got my uh, degree in uh, nursing, and I became a registered nurse. I moved back to Modesto in 1959, got married, and uh, I noticed uh, that there were children walking to school past canals that were unprotected. And so once again, the, the thought of a challenge uh, enticed me to get petitions signed and give them to the Modesto Irrigation District. In the process, uh, they ended up fencing all the canals to make them safe. So I've always found that having a challenge is really important. Uh, about eight years ago, after my second husband passed away, I was asked to do some advocate, to advocacy for seniors and the disabled. And I worked two and a half years getting door-through-door -door transportation for uh, 5,500 5, uh, disabled and the elderly frail here in Stanislaus County. And in the, while I was doing that, I got interested in the in government, and I ran for the city council two years ago and lost. And it still didn't deter me because I thought that was that I had a calling, and I knew that if I did it right, I could win. So last year I ran again, and I won because I knocked on four thousand doors, uh, and I beat an incumbent. So I found being in the city council a challenge and a wonderful experience. And one of the things that is really, um, really interesting to me is that we have an incredible river that it, when I was a child, we used to go down to and swim and fish, but now it is uh, not very clean and not very safe. So once every two months, uh, there's a group of uh, several people, and this last time there was actually 60 people that helped clean, and we cleaned uh, the Tuolumne River uh, from 9th Street to 99. And um, this is, it. people need to really go down and see how, these, how it's so comfortable to to be by the river when it's all cleaned up. And we need to get our rivers back to us. But what we need to do in order to get our rivers back is we need to find something for the homeless to take themselves during the day. Because the problem is that from 5.30 in the morning until 5.30 at night, the homeless do not have a place to stay, and we call them unsheltered. They don't call them homeless anymore. And some of these that live in um, on the riverbank, it's because they really can't go into these shelters. They may have an animal. Uh, they may have uh, you know problems that they won't accept them into these into the shelters. So we really need to work on that. And once, and I know that we can accomplish that. I know we can help these people. Uh, come back into society because a lot of them just want that. They, they've just reached a very low point in their lives and we need to help them up. So this is my goal. My goal is to find a way to have a resource center for them during the day and eventually have a transitional house for them that is different than the Salvation Army and the Gospel Mission, although those do very wonderful things, this would be a different type of a program. And it will be something that we can be proud of, because until we help the homeless and the unsheltered, then our city 
will never be the thriving city it needs to be. Mm -hmm.